Hello, lovely people. So I'm not going to waste y'all sweet time. I'm going to get right into it. Um, thanks for tuning in. Life with Nikki D. Um, my everyday adventures. You know, I'm just out here making moves, changing lives. That's my motto. Like, for real. That's what I tell myself to keep myself motivated. So I just left a long closing. And it was in a private gated community on the golf course on a golf course, I guess, that's how you say it, and it just got me thinking, like, I'm in this notary business, but I'm thinking to myself, what did these people do, or what do they do to afford this type of lifestyle, you know what I'm saying, being in a situation like that will make you think, especially if you're not, if you're not already in that position, it'll make you think about, like, what am I doing, like, I said I was going to just Google how much some homes in that community is private security. Like, whenever you pull up, you have to go to, like, the security office, show them your ID. They have to then call the residents that's in that community, verify that you are who you say you are. Then you get, like, this little slip of paper that shows you how to get to the person's house with a code on it. And it just, it was, it, it blew my mind. I thought I was really trying to, about to see someone famous. And they might be famous. I don't know. I can't tell y'all what their name is or nothing like that but I'm like wow this really just made me think you know what I'm saying like I have a business but I'm not making that type of money to even afford this type of lifestyle or that type of lifestyle so I'm like am I really in business like what am I doing um and it just made me think like am I in business or do I have a job like do I at this point right now do I have a job like <laughs> you know and um it's a summary moment like I'm really like in my feelings right now but in a good way but in a good way trust me in a good way it's just like it got my juices flowing like okay Nikki what you need to do to afford $900,000 house or a million dollar house or this type of lifestyle 200 million I'm just I'm throwing numbers out there cause like the maintenance of and they, in the back of the house is nothing but water nothing but water and as I was leaving out the community, I see another house being built, and the back of their house is nothing but water. And that's what I want. Everybody knows me, knows me. I love water. And I always had this dream and desire to um, be able to, when I get up in age, to be able to be retired and be able to um, go out on my patio or on my sunroom and just look at the water or just walk my yard every day. You know what I'm saying? My garden, my pool, I want a pool. You know what I'm saying? These are the things I want. But right now, in my notary business, it ain't happening. So that means I need to put the pedal to the metal. Even social media, it's not it's not happening. I don't push content like I need to. I don't push my notary business like I need to. I don't source for Amazon, eBay products like I need to. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. I'm not putting in the work. I'm just not. I'm not putting in the work. I say I want these things. I'm in La La Land. I daydream about it. Oh, I emphasize envy people who have that type of lifestyle. Um, but yet, I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything to say I have it or to get it. And I'm like saying this, you know, maybe this will resonate with someone else who's like, I want, I want change in my life. Like, I started content with the true attention of being monetized by my birthday on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all that. And I'm not that. I'm not having done it yet. Because I haven't been pushing myself. I haven't. It can be done because others have proven that it can be done. It can be done. You know what I'm saying? Other people have proven that you can get monetized on all these social media platforms. But you have to stay consistent. You have to do it when you don't feel like it. You have to have a job on top of the job so you don't have to have a job. If that makes sense. You have to start letting your money work for you. And I'm not there right now. I'm still at the point in my life where I physically have to be doing something. Like today, I'm not feeling well. And I just want to really just be chilling. Like, for real. Like, the man, once I finish his clothes, he's going to play golf. His wife is just going to the grocery store. If I don't get out here and push these appointments, I won't have money to go to the grocery store. And I dang sure ain't got no money to be sitting around chilling, playing golf, or doing anything. I need to be out here being active. Not to say that you, you know, work hard all those years. They, they're an older couple. They were an older couple. But they lived in that big old house by themselves. They ain't have a pet. They ain't have no grandchildren running around. Not to say they didn't have any, but I'm just trying to get y'all to understand, like, share what I'm feeling right now. Like, I got to get with the program. Like, I got to 
take accountability for how my life looks and what I need to do to change things. For real. I can't blame black or white. I can't blame male or female. It's up to me. And long as I know I have the willpower to do it, I have to keep pushing myself every single day. I need to push out content, whether I feel like it or not. You know, we get in our heads about, oh, it needs to be perfect. It needs to be this way. It needs to be that way. Okay, push it out. Push it out. Because I promise you, whatever you, you got going on, someone else is going through it too. I go to YouTube a lot to try to find motivation, especially if I'm in a summer mood like Yesterday, I was in a funk. I was in a funk so bad. What I do, I went straight to YouTube. And I was able to find someone's video and get out that song. I was. And I'm, I'm not telling y'all nothing that I'm not, not you know, doing myself. Just be yourself. People will like who you are. You don't have to change up anything. Just be yourself. Do what naturally comes to you. And the rest will work out. Y'all, I'm going over railroad tracks, so it might be a little bumpy. But I'm like, just going through that experience today just really got me like, y'all gonna get tired of me. Y'all gonna be seeing me like all the time now, like for real. Like, and I gotta hold myself accountable because I don't, I don't put myself out there like for real. I'm gonna be pushing content, I'm gonna be sharing my thoughts and feelings. It might be a lot of talking videos, but I feel like I have a lot to share. Like, I think a lot of us are at this part, this point right now where I'm at, like. I watch so many people's videos, YouTube videos, that have like only like 296, I'm just saying that number because I remember that's the last time I saw 296 subscribers, but they got like a million views, thousands of views, and they haven't even submitted that many videos. I'm like, come on, people like what you, they want to hear what you have to say. Keep making content, keep, keep making videos, like we overcomplicate this. Like I have, I know over 200 videos, over 200 videos. And no, none of my videos have gone viral. It doesn't matter, but I got views. People are wanting to hear what I have to say. So I'm like, okay, Nikki, you need to continue doing what you're doing. You know, motivate yourself and motivate others. But that's all we need right now. Like, life is extremely hard right now for like, everybody. Like, it's so many videos out there about people not being able to pay their mortgage, people working two or three, four jobs, never seen their children. Like, I've been there. I've been there. Like, being self-employed or having, you know, trying to figure out what can make money on your own has been so freeing to me. But, but I've taken it for granted. Meaning that, um, I've taken it for granted, meaning that a strawberry patch. Someone talk about strawberry day. Today's strawberry day. Pick strawberries. I don't know. But anyway, it just made me think about it. But anyway, it has given me the freedom like to be able to work if I when I want to work, but it's made me lazy. Who who can agree? Who can agree? Yeah, it's made me lazy. Because I don't have a boss to report to. I can't make as much as I want to make. And yet I have it. So what's the problem? What's the problem? It's me. It's me. I don't want it bad enough. I say I want it, but I really don't. Because I'm not doing all the actions that it takes to, to get it, to have. Just what I just left. Just what I just left, not even 20 minutes ago. Beautiful, beautiful setup. In my eyes, my opinion. And who's to say they might not be in financial hardship? Maybe they are, maybe they're not. But who's to say? You know, we always looking on the outside, you know, looking on the inside, on the outside, looking on the inside, but... To me, they would look to be doing okay. <laughs> you know, um, everybody take out home equity lines of credit for different reasons. Maybe it's to pay off their credit. Maybe they have A1 credit. They just like, you know, who knows? Maybe it's to buy another investment property so they can just keep living in a beautiful house and community like that, a gated community on the golf course. Who knows? It's not my business. All I'm trying to, all I'm trying to figure out is what I need to do to have somewhat of what they have as a blessing as well to me that's a blessing to be able to have a home that's paid for have a vehicle that's paid for have money in the bank that's paid for where i'm not in the grocery market you know debating if we're going to have chicken or fish or hamburger because based off price like who can agree who there who, who been there me you know how many of y'all grocery meals depend on what you can afford that day you don't have to live like that it's so many it's so many ways to figure out how to get money out here it is you don't have to live like that we don't have to live like this 
just got to figure out and make a plan and work their action plan every single waking moment of our lives, of our existence. We have to do that every single day, every single day, every single day, every single day. I, I, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. We have to figure this thing out. So that's why I want to come on here and make this video and talk about like, with my no business, do I have a business really or do I have a job? But that's what I feel like right now. I just have a job. Am I making a profit? You know, um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just so torn right now. Because, you know, you all you people want to run out and make a business, create a business. And I know it takes time for your business to make a profit. But without cursing, I have to throw my fingers up. My hands up in the air like, for real, I... <laughs> I'm so so torn. So I know I need to go home today, sit down and, and write out a plan, an action plan of how much content I'm gonna make each day. Or just do it. Like I'm the last I, and I know this sounds crazy, but I'm just a type of fly fly type of girl. I just gotta do it. But if I sit down and think about it too much, I'll come make a content, I'm gonna post it at nine o'clock. Then I'll make something at ten o'clock. I, I, I'm not, I don't work that way. My brain does not work that way. Maybe I have ADHD and I never knew I had ADHD. Or, I don't know. But that right there does not work. Certain things in my life, I need a schedule. How about y'all? Certain things in your life, in my life, I need a schedule. But other things, I just, I just need to do it or it won't get done. It won't get done. Like yesterday, me washing my curtains. Like, if I didn't just stop what I was doing, take my curtains down and wash them, it would have been probably another year before I washed them curtains in my home serious that's just how i am right now because i know if i have if the choice is left up to me it won't get did it won't get done you feel me so that's just like where i'm at right now in my life and i just want to tell anyone out there who may be going through what i'm going through want to be a content creator or just want to start youtube because youtube's not going nowhere youtube is going to be the thing i'm telling y'all y'all need to start your channels now i wish to goodness i would have started a while ago but i started last year. I think I started in 2019. I'm, I'm just saying 2019. I know it's 2024. But I think I, I think my channel started 20, let's see, 2023 maybe? I don't know. But I know I posted my first video, I think, in 2019. I got it somewhere in one of my videos that when I first started, I made one YouTube video and I stopped. One YouTube video and I stopped. I don't even have access to that channel no more. I don't even know how to get into that channel to archive that video but i will search it you know search it sometimes and pop up see how many views i got and, and the thing about youtube you can't really worry about other people's views and what they got going on like it's i watch i watch so much i watch budgeting videos i watch cooking videos i watch um couponing videos i watch relationship videos i watch podcast i watch, I watch all kind of stuff so don't never think what you got going on somebody else won't want to hear what you got going on that's one reason why I made my channel Life with Nikki D because I didn't just want to talk about the notary business. There's only so much you can talk about the notary business. You understand what I'm saying? So I want to just share my life as a mobile notary. You know what I'm saying? As a reseller, as a Amazon seller, as a mom of three. You know what I'm saying? As someone trying to, um, as someone trying to create content and 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 and, and, and my travels along this this journey. You know what I'm saying? I want to document. I want to share. You know what I'm saying? So that's why, you know, you can't really look at other people's videos. Like, this one lady, she made a video about um, editing and all this kind of stuff. Someone else made a video about editing. It's like, okay, the reason why you're not posting videos is because you're stuck with editing. Don't edit. Just push play. That's where I'm at. Push play. Because I know me. If I got to sit there and go through my video and chop out this and chop out that, you know what I'm saying? You know how many videos I have in my draft bag? Just like with TikTok. Like, and I know I'm all over the place, but y'all need to hear this. Like, I'm telling y'all the truth. Like, TikTok, now you have to have only a thousand, in 2024 right now, this time, you only have to have a thousand um, followers to be able to do um, TikTok, um, Amazon, I mean, TikTok shop. A thousand. A thousand. My other account, I did a workaround. I did, I used my eBay, I mean, yeah, I used my eBay or my reseller account because it's a business, LLC. I used that to work around. But now TikTok has made it available where just a thousand people, if you have a thousand people, followers, subscribers, you can um, do TikTok. Do TikTok shop. Because it is so much money on TikTok shop. So much money. So much money, y'all. 
It's ridiculous. And if you're not sure what to do, just find somebody. Go on live. Find somebody who's selling on TikTok shop. And just and just listen to them for a good hour. Because they want you to be on at least an hour and 30 minutes. That was my downfall. Um, I made I made sales with TikTok shop on some of the items that I promoted. But I wasn't on it long enough. Right? So I'm right now I'm practicing talking. Steady talking. They want you to be talking. They want you to be speaking. They want you to be engaging. And I'm using this as a practice. I know I need to get an oil change. So... What I'm saying is, use this as an opportunity, you know what I'm saying, to help diversify all platforms. Same thing with you, I mean, with uh, Facebook, you know what I'm saying? Like, I get my invoices every month. Yeah, I make a couple change on, on Facebook, but I'm like, okay, these are the accounts that got monetized. Horn in on what you need to do, because they'll tell you what they want, what they need to do if you go on your analytics on all these platforms, YouTube, TikTok. Um, Instagram, Facebook, all of them tell you when you go to the analytics, they'll tell you what you need to do. Just do it. Just do it. That's the truth. Just do it. And I think this house right here is on YouTube. They're talking about buying them, um, them um, 10 houses. Not some 10 houses, but they like sheds. But I think that house is the one that was on YouTube years ago real. He was talking about it. It looks so familiar unless someone just got one similar to his. I'm whispering like they can hear me. I'm in my car. But yeah, but anyway, yeah. Start that YouTube channel. Don't compare yourself to other people's content. You know what I'm saying? Just be yourself. Pretty sure what you got to offer and share, other people want to hear. Other people want to hear what you got going on. But that just made me realize, like, do I really just have a job? And that's what I feel. Let me know down below if that's how y'all feel. Or I should not be thinking this way. I do have a business. I can say they put enough effort into growing my business to make make it where I feel like it's profitable. Or I mean, I know I'm answering my own questions because you know that's what it sounds like. That is a mobile home park I visited before. But anyway, so that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I want to hear y'all thoughts. I want y'all to comment down below. Let me know, you know, some things that y'all are struggling with. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all will be seeing more and more of me. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.